friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus at around 10 o'clock and now two side ports this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away an air bubble is injected beneath this air bubble tripan blue 0 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this hard white cataract this is a bit of adrenaline this may help in surgery because this is a hard cataract the dye is washed out and after washing the dye the anterior chamber is filled up with viscoelastic substance and the viscoelastic substance that I'm going to use in this case is this this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose this is a beautiful viscoelastic substance now capsular axis in hard cataracts the size of the axis should be about 5.75 to 6 millimeter in this case from 2 o'clock I went to further periphery from here and made the rexis little larger so that nucleus management becomes easier and now hydro dissection since there is no soft lens matter in such cases very carefully hydro dissection is done small amounts of fluid is injected at multiple points and the nucleus is rotated visco again 2% ASPMC is applied again and now the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber and see the exposure of the tip it has been more than usual and this is removal of some cortex this will help me to judge the depth of the phaco needle inside the lens mass and this is submarine chalk the tip is buried totally into the substance of the nucleus goes through the nucleus like a submarine reaches near the opposite equator and then the nucleus is chopped like this and now the nucleus is chopped at another place on hemineucleus now I come to the original crack hold this lens piece and completely it gets separated two hemineuclei are totally separate this is the bigger hemineucleus uh, it is divided into two large fragments now each large fragment is emulsified if necessary it is divided into smaller pieces otherwise we just start emulsifying from one side and it gets completed in no time this is the other hemineucleus the nucleus is hard but brittle in this case no leathery bands joining the fragments so it has been an easy task in this case to manage the nucleus 
this is the epinucleus and we have to be very careful in such cases because the exposure is much more so I am slow the vacuum has been reduced and here it is nucleus and epinucleus have been managed and now this is visco again 2% SPMC and now by the time my assistant gets ready with the bimanual irrigation aspiration I use this instrument Simco to remove some cortex from 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock yes it is done and now I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration irrigation is being used to polish the posterior capsule and now I remove some cortex from the subincisional area yes it is done and now in this case a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted and this is called hydro implantation the lens has gone into the capsula bag I'm using the irrigating probe to dial the lens and this irrigation washes out any visco that was there in the lumen of the cartridge now this is moxifluxacin the two sideboards are closed by corneal stromal hydration and this is BSS we can see that this patient has a thick arcus senilis and there is a delin like lesion at 11 o'clock and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is nicely formed the intraocular pressure is filled integrity of the wounds are checked and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence